All right, let's welcome Scott Mitchell back in as we continue to look ahead to the NFL draft. Should be a big weekend for several local players, including several Utes, multiple Utes projected to be selected. One of those guys should be safety Trell Burgess, the sixth rated safety going into the draft. He could be a mid round guy. Uh, one thing Burgess is really good at, you like his versatility at the line, right, Scott? Yeah, so what's great about Ter Terrell Burgess is he's a guy that a lot of NFL people think he can play. Utah recently has has drafted some some really good uh, safeties into the NFL, Marquise Blair and Marcus Williams, and they played great. And he's kind of in that line. He's more of a strong safety type. But yes, he's a guy that you can put him at the line of scrimmage and he can make plays in the run game. And I mean, he's at the line of scrimmage right here. And he's tackling a guy on a jet sweep, which is really hard because he doesn't see him initially. He makes a great read on it, and then he tackles him immediately yeah. in the backfield. And I'm telling you, folks, that's not easy to do. That's an amazing yeah. play. So here he is again. I mean, he's at the line of scrimmage, and now he's got to cover a wide receiver who's really fast and quick in the slot. And that's hard to do because that guy goes both directions. He can run left. He can run right. And he does a great job of tackling, making a play on a very fast player. So NFL scouts go, man, look at this. This guy is like, he's at the line. He can do multiple things. It's huge. Some guys can't cover. Some guys can't do the run. Uh, Terrell Burgess can actually do both. And then the, the one of the things that really jumps off the, the tape at me is how fast he is at reacting, right? The NFL is all about speed. So here he is out here. He sees the pass come. He makes an amazing tackle for a loss. But you look at all these other defenders there. Look at his closing speed. It's like it's like it's a half a step, maybe two steps faster than everyone else. Speed is the name of the game in the NFL. Can you read a play? Can you react to it? And can you make a play in the open field? Amazing. The other thing you need is the safety. You got to have range, right? This is a two deep safety. So he's you see him at the very last second there, and they run two people up the field. So it's he has to cover two guys. Right. And that's not easy to do. If you're a quarterback, you love that scenario because one of them's gonna be open. Well, in this situation right here, he covered both guys. Like it's I'm just telling you, it's insane that play right there and his ability to do that. And it's not it's not an easy thing. And he knocks the play away. Great play for him. All right. So then the next thing is there are some people that play. Right. There are some people that play and they never make a play. And then there are some people that are just play makers. They find the ability be. to just make a play when they have to do it. So yeah. he's right here uh, covering this guy right here. Great position. He turns his head right at the last second and he gets a fastball <laughs> in the chest from Justin Herbert. You watch it right here. He just turns and it's just a little bit behind him. But he's in the right position so many times to make plays. Again, he's, he's kind of helping with another guy and he's gotta be in the right position to make a play. This one right here, he's covering this guy, or the inside slot receiver here, quarterback for the USC goes out. He comes off of his guy. Yeah. And so he's not even covering the guy where the ball went, but he has enough common sense, horse sense, if you're my grandpa, whatever sense you wanna call it, <laughs> to come off of the guy he's defending, he sees what's happening, he instinctively comes back to the ball, makes an interception. This was a huge play in the game for Utah. All right, the next one is, and this is hard, <laughs> like I may be the only person in the world that he could not, like he could, to, to actually tackle a guy in open in field. open field, you have it's to do that so in the NFL. Yeah. These guys are so talented right here. He comes up from his safety position, and he's just there, boom, he's just there and he makes an open field tackle. You watch him so many times, and if you watch his technique, he tackles guys in their legs. Uh, so many guys try to tackle up high, right. they get juked out or they get run over. You tackle a guy in his legs and he cannot, he cannot play. I love Terrell Burgess. Mm -hmm. I watched him, you know, I did all the Utah games this year. Love watching him, uh, what he does on the field. There is a little bit of a knock on him though. Okay, so what is that? <laughs> I don't know what happened right and I'm still trying to scratch my head on this but sometimes when he's on the inside trying to make plays in the run now I know he's not a linebacker mm -hmm. and some of those things but there were there were some times where he just kind of got lost in in the run game and, and I don't want to say it's a big knock on him I really like him mm -hmm. I, I like his heart I like his speed I like his ability to play uh, I believe he's an he's another guy that's gonna play and do well in the NFL uh, from Utah in this kind of recent history of safeties 
having success in the NFL. And you were saying with his skill set, this is a guy that could last several years in the NFL as well. Yeah, well, uh, a lot of times these guys are fairly versatile and mm -hmm. they can play multiple positions. He may, he could potentially bulk up a little bit and he may even be at a linebacker position. It's all about speed. It's all about versatility. And he's got that. All he right. does. Thanks, Scott. That's uh, Jordan Love and Terrell Burgess. We'll hear more from you as the draft comes closer.